Shortly after FIFA members elected Sepp Blatter to a fifth term as president, he vowed to lead the organization back to respectability. That uh, for the next four years, I will be in command of this boat called FIFA, and we will bring it back. Two days earlier, U.S. authorities had announced a sweeping corruption investigation into FIFA. The Justice Department indicted nine current and former FIFA officials and five corporate executives for racketeering, money laundering, and wire fraud. Seven FIFA officials were arrested. The same day, Swiss authorities announced a probe into allegations connected to the awarding of the 2018 World Cup to Russia and the 2022 World Cup to Qatar. Two major European football associations and British Prime Minister David Cameron, among others, urged Blatter to resign, but he remained defiant until Tuesday. Jacob Frankel, a former U.S. federal corruption prosecutor, is not surprised by Blatter's resignation. Everybody knew, including Mr. Blatter, that this, this investigation was moving forward, moving forward aggressively, and had him personally in its sights. Having won, now he was able to say, I won re-election, now it's okay to step aside for someone else to take over and reform the organization. Blatter, who will stay on as president until a successor is elected, will be leading an organization that is immersed in a scandal involving $150 million in bribes. In announcing the U.S. probe last week, Attorney General Loretta Lynch said Blatter is not being charged at this time, but that the investigation into FIFA is far from over. Franco refused to speculate on whether Blatter will be indicted. There is no question that if the U.S. government has evidence to form the basis of charges against Mr. Blatter, and anyone else in his inner circle, it will do so. The vote for a new FIFA president is expected to take place between December 2015 and March 2016. Mike Richmond, VOA News, Washington.